Hello friends on YouTube, in this video I want to show you how you can make your own custom PS5 plates. Let's check what is needed for this mod. Of course the plates with hole and to make a hole we use uh, this thing here. I will put links in the description. I'm not sure when it's dozen butter or something like this. It's 80 millimeter and I have this like an adapter. Get it onto here. Then we can drill the hole. Also for measurement you need something. This is like an adapter cable I make. I made. And to make this adapter cable, so we can connect both plates on one controller, you can use these cables here. We have a set of it with different uh, male and female. And they are on the controller too, as you can see. And this is like a controller with RF. Where is the RF? I think it's here. And this is also with the same controller as you can see. And they are different ones. This is the same, but it has another RF. And also you will need a soldering iron, a hot glue gun, some soldering wire. I use this 3D printed. Um, it's not that thick. I think it's four layers. It's 3D printed and grill let's say then I use these wires there's three pins because we need three pins I will try to find it and put the link in the description it's I don't know AVG 30 or something like that maybe smaller not sure and yeah some tools a glue or adhesive this tape here something to clean the plates and let's look at the LEDs let's sit down quickly for the LEDs I have this one, found it on uh, AliExpress, I will put a link in the description, maybe there is Amazon too, I have to check, these are 4mm thick, and these are also 4mm thick, addressable, and as you can see I think that the, the, this one have 150 LEDs, or 300 LEDs per meter, and for 50 centimeter they are 150, something like that, and they are a bit more expensive. This one also look nice and they don't need that much current and you can cut them in between every LED so you can fit this in a bit better and I already made the plates we can check them and I used this and also this okay this is the rest that I have and of this one I have a bit more I will upload this picture somewhere I made it from I don't know one and a half meters away or something like that and let's cut this thing out here and now we can use this picture so we can save it and use this picture on a page where we can design our own foils as you can see here or of course you can use it to know where you have to cut the hole or where you have to design where the hole has to be let's say and now I'm on this page called Time Design and now we can go to select or, or design by yourself and you can type in here PlayStation 5 or something and I like to use a digital edition so I can use the foils on both sides for two PlayStations and I only need one side so this is also possible and you can use it on matte or like shining or something like that I like it matte and now we can go to design yeah it's loaded everything this is like the top part you can see here then you have the this part here and this is the left this is the right plate and on the disc edition it's a different one because they are, the right plate is in two parts or something like that. that's why i like to use the digital edition and this is the the small part down on the left side and it's laying let's use this and we can select now this picture and as you can see I selected it here and I tried now to zoom it in and yeah it is, it is not perfect but it's I would say precise enough so we can try to overlap the corners of this and now you can design your own picture 
and or if you have your own picture let's say that you designed with a circle and something like this you can use this picture here to put it over let's say and then you can uh, use another picture and then as you can see now I have another one like your design your own design and we can now use the design that I made here to help us so we know ah, okay we have to put it like this and then as you can see my the the picture that that was underneath it's not visible now we have only the second picture and this is just to guide you to know okay this is where it has to go you have here the corners and then the foil is going to get like you want it and it is not going to be in a different spot the hole or something you can also do something else you can first make a foil and then um, put the foil onto the PlayStation and then cut the hole but then maybe if you do like something like this here as you can see I made this this race and everything and try to have his hand on the corner here then maybe if you make the foil and it is not perfect then you, the position is wrong that's why I like to first check it the design here Starting to rain.
sound where the people them love. My sound, it a play rubber dub. My sound, it a play one drop. EDM and me say jungle on a. My sound, come for murder all sound. My sound, come for slaughter every sound. My sound, it a play one drop. EDM and me say jungle on a. Okay, now this is the third plate set, and these are the black ones, but they are transparent. And on the lower side, or on the right side, let's say, I'm going to use the this LED stripe that is with less LEDs, and this one fits perfectly. I can show you. These are the dimensions we need, the length, and I cut this in this length and attach the wires here or solder them on. And you have to make sure to solder it on this side where the it's pointing like upwards here. If you solder it on this side, it won't work. So you have to make sure the direction is correct. And also, you see it plus, then minus is the uh, black one, plus is the red one and the signal or how it's called D I think it's written on it's the yellow one yeah I did it like this and on the other side I removed this connector so there on the controller here it's like the, the male one with three pins and <clears throat> normally these are connected to and you can get the pins out here let me show you I used uh, like a small screwdriver and got in here and pulled them out so you can press this in, in the corner here and then you can pull them out and I just soldered it on here and put them back in so now I think it's looking good and we can now connect it directly here this will come out of the plate and then I can connect it here and that's everything we can also add some shrink wire here, but I think it looks okay. And I can see the colors. Okay, and now we are going to wire it underneath these pins here. Somewhere here it's going to get out. And you have to check which direction you want to, the LEDs to rotate. So I want it to rotate clockwise. So we want it from here to rotate in this direction. Actually, you can also control them to, to counterclockwise if you have a good controller with a lot of modes or the for example this S2 mini with this one we can also put a software onto this for controlling LEDs via Wi-Fi or something I don't know if I will do this later and make another video and here with this controller some of them they, I think that they have only modes to rotate in one direction so I'm going to if I want it clockwise, so I have to put it here, and then the LEDs has to go to the front and around. So if I put it like this, it has to go to the front, and we're going to get them in like this. As you can see, yeah. And on the upper side, on the, this panel, this is the other panel. Look how cool this looks like, it's shining. Okay, on this panel we are going to use the other LEDs that are much much smaller. It's both are four millimeters, but this one have much more LEDs. And the problem with this one is, let me show you. You cannot, you can cut them, cut it all every four LEDs. So one, two, three, or five. One, two, three, four, five LEDs. Yeah, every five LEDs. Sorry. Every five LEDs you can cut here. And there is like a line here, you can see it. And the other ones, you can cut 
in between every LED you can cut here and here and here but with this one it's a bit different and let's look at the length we need this length from here to here and if we put in here this one in and let me just get it where we need it like here and we're somewhere in between this is the line where we need it somewhere here and we have to cut it a bit shorter or longer and I will see maybe I will cut it this time a bit longer let's see how it looks like if we cut it longer I think now I will cut it a bit shorter and try to get them a bit in so the radius is a bit smaller or the diameter is a bit smaller and then it should fit but this is the lower one we will first do the lower one and I will zoom in here a bit so you can watch I already glued this on and we can already remove this but I will remove it at the end because I don't know if this is going to melt so there is already some hot glue inside and I want to have hot glue in between this corner here and the LEDs to hold them in place plus to spread the light or to diffuse it a bit yeah, we will see how it looks like, I like it so we will start with this one and it's already everything ready to go ok now I have to turn this on to wait a bit until it gets hot then we can connect it if you want to see how it looks like let's check if they work now they're connected I can turn them on and they're already working I think it is yeah we'll see how it is going to look like with this plate maybe it looks cool and yeah we can switch modes here different modes and so on okay okay while we are waiting for the hot gun to heat up a bit let's say five minutes or so we can um, modify the cable for the next stripe so I have two of these and I will use one for something else I will show you later and this one is going on to this plate the other one is for the lower plate uh, for, the, for the left plate or the upper plate so we have as you can see this connection connector here let's use the screwdriver to get in here and pull them out maybe you can see them how they look like there is something like a nose up here you have to bend it down you can see it okay that's holding it in place the pins next one pressing it in sorry if you cannot see it hmm. Okay, now the third one it won't get out. Okay, what's going on with the third one? Now we'll need this, and now we can cut the wing. right here as close as possible to the metal and we don't need this and now we can use this tree and connect yeah you can also use if you want silicone wires they are fitting much much nicer inside and the plate is later easier to get on because it's not that high but with this it's also possible, but it's a bit higher as you can see and the plate is maybe going to bend a bit or it is a bit harder to get on and off, but it doesn't matter for me, it's okay so maybe the plate is also going to vibrate less when it's harder to get on and off okay, this is the 3 pin wire here I'm using I don't know what I, AVG, I have to check, we'll put links in the description okay, I think that this is long enough Want to make them the same length so let's see how oh, is this connect this quickly it's only for testing so now we're somewhere here 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's about the same length. But, uh, so the three pins, you can already put this on here to later solder them on. And now you have to be careful to not cut in. So on one side I'm making it a bit shorter and on the other one a bit longer. This should be enough. This is the side that goes on the plate. Now we can try to pull it off. And on the other side, I want it a bit longer. This is the side that goes in into this connector then. Make it a bit longer. Something like this. And oops. Looks good, I think. Using my teeth to get it off. And now we can with the fingers, I think. Just remove this shield here. For why it's called the coating. And you don't have to remove a lot, just a bit. Maybe I don't know, a few millimeters. This is enough. And with the soldering iron when we pre pre-solder them, the wire uh, the, the coating is going to melt a bit off. So we have more. And let's get the soldering iron. And let it heat up a bit. Have to clean the tip a bit. Is it already hot? No, it's hot. It's clean. Okay. I want to pre-solder everything. Okay, this is the way around. Like this. I don't know if you can see anything. I will zoom in later, I think, in the video. So now we're this is hot, let's turn this on. That's it. Later I'm going to solder it onto the LED stripe. I want quickly to show you now how you can get this, this stuff in again. So if you don't know how to where it has to go, we can check this from this side. And put it in, but not all the way, just a bit to see where it has to go. And on this side there are no holes. Only on this side, so we know where the nose has to go. Can rotate it also. And red is plus, white is the minus. So we have now red. For us, is red. Uh, the red is a plus, and the nose is up. More nodes here. You can get it in here. And if you have, you cannot get it in. It's difficult because it's now thicker here. You can just use a bit a screwdriver a bit and get it in here. So I already know how it goes. You can get this in here and bend it a bit, so we have more space to get them in. Now let's go with the red one first. And now we can use the screwdriver and press on the red. And dot the tip. Cut away. And here is a white part. We can also use it to cut that to press it in. And this was the green one. Let's get the green one in first. Now we can press onto this green dot here to get it on the way in. Now it's in. And the third one is the minus. If this one doesn't want to get in, just bend it a bit. 
I'm telling you, excuse me, I can pull it in. I'm push it in with my finger. And the last few millimeters with screwdriver. And now, as you can see, the, nothing looks outside here. So there is no... I cannot get a short or something. So everything is inside here. But you also, if you like, you can add some some hot glue here inside or something. But it's not needed. No, it's everything. Everything is inside and we can solder this on later on to the LED strip. Put it aside. And continue. So hot glue is already hot. Let's get the plate here. And we already know the direction. So let's check again. We have to go to the front because we want it clockwise. I want it clockwise. And let's turn it around. So this goes like this in this direction. And I always start from this corner. I don't know, maybe you can get on here. I'm not sure with this with this wire if I can get to it. I always start on this point here. And let me rotate it a bit. Get it in underneath here. Okay. Now. We can use hot glue. Can you see everything? Yes, I think. We can use some hot glue here uh, for, I don't know, one centimeter or so you can put some hot glue on. Put the pistol aside and then press against here and put them on. But be careful, it is hot. <laughs> so maybe you can wear some gloves or something if it's easier for you. And then the next few centimeters putting hot glue inside and then we can bend them a bit so it, they're going in like at I don't know 45 degree angle or so they're not completely flat they're like this the LED stripes let's get them in and with this one they're easier to bend much easier to work with the other one are difficult so let's continue adding some more thermal get it underneath here at the end, but we will see. Let's put it to the end. And now, let's see if we can get it in here. Ooh, it's possible. Yeah, looks okay. And now uh, we can quickly test if this works before continuing. So let's put it like this. Turn this on. Connecting it here. Let's check. Yeah, looks good. Very nice. And it's shining through. Oh, this looks cool. I like it. Okay. Disconnect it again, Let's turn it off first. Now, we can continue. I want to put some hot glue on three spots at the beginning here. Yeah. Glue on the, the wires. to get damaged here and then somewhere in the middle let's say here Now we can cover everything again with hot glue, 
because they are the contacts. But cover these contacts that are free because I removed the, the adhesion. This this adhesive layer that is normally on the stripes, I removed it. I don't like the color and everything. So we can use now a hot gun and cover everything again. On this one, I want to to add something here, so it is a bit stronger. This is okay, but this is moving a bit, so I want to add something here to make it a bit stronger. And now you can see how it looks like. So if we pull here, it's not moving. And if there are some holes here, though, you can add add a bit of glue, so of hot glue. In between here, if there are some holes, and press it down. I can add a bit here and up here so there are no no gaps in between so for me this looks this looks okay I can clean it a bit if there are some some strings or so from the hot glue I can clean it later Some, some lighter or something, maybe it works also with this. And be careful, you need a bit of space in between here, and then go like this to remove or burn away the strings. For me, this looks good, and it's shining so nice. Okay, now we can remove the, the tape here. later no, a bit more but for me this looks okay the only thing with the transparent one is that we can see the the wire here yeah I don't know maybe I will I will paint it we will see so let's put this aside and one one more test just quickly connect it and turning it on Oh, looks cool. We can continue with the next one. Let's disconnect this. And this is the, the next one. And this is also transparent, but I put on a sticker, so now it's not transparent anymore. Looks also nice, shiny. Now, for this one, we have to wire it like this on this direction, and if you want it clockwise, so the here is the back side, here is the front. We have to go from here and then to the back side. So we have to go to this side, and this is the left. Yeah, look good. So we're going from here to here. Okay, now let me explain you what I did. I checked the length. Normally it has to be this length to fit perfectly, but I can decide to make it a bit shorter or, or longer because it's every one, two, three, four, five LEDs where I can cut. And I will make it a bit shorter now. As you can see here, there are five LEDs always in between. Let's check, this is this direction. We can get this in here. And solder again. This one I'm going to do it a different way. So I'm connecting both ends or getting first both ends in. 
bring them in and then I can get this in place should look good like this I think Where is the RF? RF, here it is. Yeah, looks looks nice. I like it. Looks really nice. Okay. So let's turn it around again. Turn this off. And now we can go like last time in between these two. Somewhere here or so. Now let's check this again, if we can add some more glue, I think I can add some more here, fill the gap. Nice. Let's turn it on. Okay, here you can see maybe where there's a bit of a gap. But looks good, I think. And for my main console, I don't want to put something here because it's going to lie, so you will never see this side. This side is not visible. But I don't know. I don't want to try out something. Maybe this is going to look cool, I'm not sure. If we use, where is it? This stripe here. And put it somewhere, somewhere here. So, or, yeah, let's put it on like this. So I'm going to glue it on like this and then we can check how it looks like. Yeah, we cannot see it, I think, when it's laying like this. I will find out how it looks like. Turn it off. Get this thing out here. And I want to make an adapter, because I have an, every, every single plate I have this 
female and on these things as you can see there is a male and I want to make adapter from male uh, from female to two male so we can then connect both plates if we have two plates this is the last thing I have to do now until I'm finished with the mods of three plates Okay, one more thing I want to do now is to paint it. When I turn it on, now you can see the the one that is behind is sh shining like yellow, rotating, we can switch. And let's turn on the front ones, now you can see there is, you can see through here, because there is a NMB fan inside. Here also, let's turn it on and it's pretty bright, but we can also dim dim this light and you can see at the back and then we can dim it lights come almost off something like this it's not too bright let's turn this light a bit to the side yeah this looks cool and let me show you what is on this side I did not use this I have it here this fan grill because it is not needed it is only going to let less air in and this is meant for horizontal position so you cannot see this and I mounted here by LED stripe and if you look from the front you cannot see it it's laying yeah it's it's hidden you have to go like this to be able to see it and this is a nice background light this do not have to be turned on and now it's getting more airy
drop EDM and miss a jungle on My sound come from murder all sound. My sound come from start a heavy sound. My sound it a play one drop EDM and miss a jungle on Sound it and play a rubber dub. My sound it and play a one drop. EDM and me say jungle on a brrrr. 